Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday to you all. Sitting down here at the church in the children's church room, we are getting ready for services this morning, and I thought I'd take just a minute before the little kiddos get here to share some thoughts with you. Obviously, the news has gone out already about the shooting down in Orlando, and actually, this is the second shooting this weekend down here in our state. We're, we're a little more directly affected than a lot of you guys are who who are around the country in different parts but here in Florida obviously there is a sense of uneasiness a little bit of a sense of panic people are naturally upset and the headlines that are going out this morning have used the word terrorism whether it's homegrown terrorism or some groups that maybe have invaded in nobody really knows yet at this point but I wanted to offer an encouraging word because I know the more that we begin to hear things like this, it's easy to go into panic mode. And you know, there's a lot of talk going around about different issues, political issues that surround things like this. And people can begin to get all kabobbled and wanna rush and, and make rash decisions that can affect the rest of their lives, but they're doing it out of panic instead of stopping and slowing down and really responding out of wisdom when things like this happen. And I also wanted to just encourage you all that this kind of stuff doesn't take most of us by surprise. The Bible tells us that there is gonna come an end of this world. There's gonna come an end of time that Sooner or later, God's gonna wrap this whole thing up. And I know not all of you may be Christians and maybe you don't believe in the Bible. And maybe when you hear people say stuff like that, you just think, oh, that's just some kind of fairy tale that's not true. But I absolutely firmly believe in my heart that is true. There are so many prophecies that have been given in the scriptures that have already come to pass that what makes us think that the prophecies about the end times, the last days as they're called, aren't true as well. And if we believe them to be true, then we absolutely know that things are going to progressively get worse before the return of our Savior. And that's a lot of what we're seeing. We are seeing the world seemingly out of control the world is quickly wanting to take God out of everything. They're wanting to remove the name of Christ out of everything. And they believe that they can exist apart from him and that they will do so in safety and in peace. And I am here to tell you that will never happen. That without the blessing and the covering of almighty God, things can only end in chaos because it is God and his authority and his control that keeps everything running the way that it should. So these kind of things, when we hear them, they grieve our heart. They are sad. We are mourning this day with the families of everyone who has lost loved ones over this week. And we're also mourning with a city who is in a little bit of panic today, some uneasiness, some unrest. People are afraid now to go anywhere, to be in a public spot because they don't know what can happen to them. And of course, that is the whole plan behind any kind of terrorism, whether it's homegrown or not. The whole goal is to keep us wrapped up in a bondage and to lock us in a prison, whether it's inside of our home or even just inside of our mind. So I wanted to encourage Encourage all of you guys today that believe it or not even when chaotic things like this happen ultimately God is still in control and if we will trust him and pray and seek his face he will give us the answers to know exactly how to respond and what we should do with our families to keep ourselves safe, yet not allow ourselves to become a victim of that terror and that fear because that is no life to live, to be bound by things such as that. And I know that some of you probably then have the question, well, if God's so good and he's in control, how can something like this even happen? Well, God certainly didn't cause it to happen. And because God loves us so much and there is a thing called free will, there are very evil people who don't believe in God, who don't obey God, who don't worship God, who have an evil agenda, whatever that may be. And although God does stop and thwart a lot of things from happening, obviously God doesn't stop 
every single thing because if he did, he would completely remove our free will. And God's love is so gracious that free will and giving us the ability to choose every day how we're going to live, that is one of the greatest gifts that he has given to mankind. And even though he knew that it was a dangerous gift, that it was a risky gift, because he knew that people would not always choose what was right, God still loved us enough to allow us to have choice. And because of that, there are very evil things that will happen and that we will see and that we will face and that we will encounter. It does not mean that God is not a good God and that God is not a loving God by any stretch of the imagination. What that means is that we have a much bigger job to do to get the word out about his goodness, his grace, his mercy, his love, his kindness, and to bring people into the enlightenment of who he is, to bring people into a relationship with him that they would walk and live according to his love so that things like this don't continue to happen. So I just wanted to encourage you all today because I know as you guys are reading the headlines and you're reading what's happening, we are down here in Florida and so naturally the concerns that we have may be a little greater than some of the concerns that you guys may have if you're far removed. Nonetheless, the whole country is shaken and it brings us back to the reality of our humanity and it brings us back to the reality of our need for God and for him to, to truly intervene and be in control in our lives. So I'm going to leave that thought with you guys today on this beautiful Sunday. And if you have any questions at all or just need someone to talk to if you're struggling with that fear, if you can feel it kind of hitting you hard today, then definitely be, feel free to send me an inbox. You guys all have my email address. It is on the About Me section of my YouTube page. And I'll be happy to talk with you, pray with you, whatever, whatever we can do to help ease these kind of situations for you. Hope you all can have a great day, and I will see you soon.